a hot day, it's lovely to stand in front of a fan. All that nice cool air being blown around. Ah, that's much better. I bet you didn't know that this fan's got something in common with some types of aircraft. Can you guess what? Propellers! The propellers on some aircraft and the blades of a fan work in a similar way. Although the propellers on planes aren't there to cool you down. If you're not sure what a propeller is, it's basically a number of blades joined together in the centre. And they're usually on the front or the wings of an aircraft. It can be hard to see them when they're spinning. They just look like a blur. So let's slow things down and take a closer look. It all starts with the engine. This plane's about to get going. The pilot is turning the ignition. The engine mixes fuel with air and burns the fuel to release energy. The heated gas moves a piston and the piston's attached to a crankshaft. If you're not sure what a crankshaft is, it's just something mechanical that spins around. The propeller is attached to the crankshaft and as the engine runs, the propeller spins faster and faster and this makes the aircraft move forward. So how does a spinning fan get this aircraft moving? It's all to do with something called thrust. Thrust is what makes things... Well, go! The wind moving past the blades creates pressure that pushes the plane forward. Propeller blades look a bit like wings, and that's not a coincidence. Wings use the same science to give the aircraft lift to get off the ground. Up, up and away! Propeller blades are often a sort of twisty shape, wider at the middle than they are at the tip. The shape is very important. Think about the last time you played on a playground roundabout. If you stand in the middle, you don't go that fast. But if you're the one pushing around the edge, you really have to run, don't you? You both go around in a circle, but the one pushing has to go further and run faster. Much harder work! The centre of the propeller travels less quickly than the tips, so it has to be larger to catch more air. The cool thing about propellers is that they're a massive part of aircraft history, from the very earliest planes. The Wright brothers were famous aircraft inventors who were amongst the first to build planes that could take to the air and stay there. Whilst their planes might look quite old-fashioned, the propellers they used didn't look that different to the ones you find on aircraft today. Now, they didn't have all the modern materials that we have and they couldn't use too much metal in their aircraft. It was just too heavy. So, any idea what they made the propellers out of? <laughs> That's right! Wood! The propellers would have been carved from single pieces of hard wood, like mahogany, walnut or black cherry. They were often very long, up to eight feet. As time went on, propellers became more likely to be made of metal. In the Second World War, all the famous aircraft had propellers, and the sound of propellers humming became as well known as the aircraft themselves. of all time. These days, most smaller aircraft use propellers, but planes that carry loads of passengers or fast military aircraft are likely to have jet engines. They're a lot more powerful. And noisy too. But propellers are so handy, you find similar things in all sorts of places. On boats, airships, and even on fans that keep you cool. Time for me to fly. See you soon and chucks away! Amy's Aviation, with support from the Royal Aeronautical Society. Find out more about aviation at funkinslive.com forward slash.